Alright, hi. Um, Nordico Equipment, Stone Dilla Crib, uh, Cribber, Operation Maintenance and Manual, Reorder Part 49452300, latest December, revision uh, December 2011. Read carefully and understand the precautions contained with the manual for poor operating service machine. Refer to section one and one no important safety information. Notice the machine has an engine that contains electronical control unit. An ECU must may be taken correctly installed during welding on this machine. Failure to do so will damage the covered underwater TC last maintenance section for proper procedure. Um, Nordico. All right, please, safety. Please read and comply with all the safety precautions before in this manual before operating machine. Generally, do not use the machine for the machine operations other than for which it was intended. Nordico is responsible for modifications made with authorizations or written approval from place that all Nordico or OEM parts with the genuine Nordico or OEM parts for the use the non OEM parts could be compromised to safety or machine. If our regulations require that the copy of this operation manual be kept on the machine at all times additional copy of the operation manual only can be ordered with the Nordico part sales one eight hundred six four seven seventeen twenty four. Um following safety instructions carefully read all the safety messages in the manual how, um, learn how to operate with the machine, how to use these properly, do not let anyone operate this machine without instruction failure to understand contents in this manual could result in serious personal injury or death. Alright, if you see the safety alert symbols, there are the safety alert symbols. These symbols mean to pay um, attention. Your safety is at risk. Danger is a use indicate a definite hazard situation which is not avoidable when result of severe bodily harm or even uh, will result in severe bodily harm or even da death. Alright, a orange warning is a warning indicating potential hazard situation which is not avoided could result in severe bodily harm or even death. A yellow caution caution indicates potential hazard situation which is not avoided but may result in moderate injury. Blue noticings formally caution without the safety eye means the failure to follow the alert and may result in machine damage. Exclamation point means the failure may follow in ultimate machine damage. Or in a green safety means the following points of the instruction are safely operate uh, for safely operating machine specific comments for the machine components for the machine. All right, general safety tips: Only trained authorized personnel should be allowed to operate this machine. In addition, with all the personnel worksite gang should be aware of the safety concerns and their individual responsibility prior to working with this machine. Safety, handling safety, um, fuel safety is highly flammable. Prolonged harm, um, breathing of the fumes may cause bodily harm. Prepare for for emergencies. Keeping the first aid kit, fire extinguishers handy. Protect against flying pieces of the metal and debris. Wearing safety gate, glasses or goggles. Wear good fighting pants and shirt. No baggy loose clothing. Protect your head and eyes from um, flying debris. Wearing a hard or safety got hard, hard hat or safety goggle. Goggles or glasses. Wear leather gloves to protect your hands and vibration or flying metal particles. Use safety toe, safety toed work boots. Alright, um, safety prior to working. All personnel work site of the gang should be aware of the safety concerns for their individual responsibility prior to working in this machine. Safety. View the operating instructions. If you're unsure of anything, use the pre-operational checklist to check the machine. Obvious fault repair for the placement necessary prior to operating the machine. Um, before climbing onto the machine, make certain that the area around under this um, machine is clear of the obstruction of personnel use the care of the climbing of the machine allows the steps and the handrails provided with the area to not, not feed um, tread grips walkways and other method, methods access area that and do not attempt to access that area make sure the control adjustments are prior to setting of the machine and always wear a seat belt know, know the weather forecast planning the work speeds accordingly the guards are on the machine this is removed only when the necessary machine is being performed on that area of the machine make certain that they have been reinstalled prior to the starting of the machine Check the service and fire extinguisher. If so, provided with the regular intervals. Make sure that all the personnel are trained to use it. No, no non-use of the fire extinguisher still requires recharge at interval stated on its last inspection notice. Keeping the stairs and cab entry pla um, platform in the cab interior free and clear of ice and tools and personal items using the accessory provided on the machine, the toolbox, cup holder, coat hook, etc. If properly stored, and store the gear.
Um, never climb up and climb onto the machine while it's in motion. They lock up the, the, there are lockups on the machine that are used to both work and travel. They should be kept clear of the free of the debris and grease and a seek lockup um, section for instruction around the use. Inspection safety decals replaced and they may become unreadable or damaged. See safety decals in the end of the safety section. All right, safety with starting of the machine. The article recommends the use of the commanding position that means the machine was never running unless someone or at near the main control panel remotely control boxes to prevent the um, injury to personnel or damage to the machine. It is highly recommended to the safety. Um, one, only start operate machine from the operator seat. Two, um, use the startup checklist to check the machine controls and gauges at the main, make certain that all the systems are operating correctly. Safety while, oper while operating traveling. Safety. Never allow more riders than the seats and seat belts allow. This machine was designed to be operated by one person. This machine was designed to be <laughs> operated by one person. Two, the machine is operated from the operator's seat only. Do not stand on or operate the machine. Um, press the emergency stop push button at the central of the control council. Emergency and potential danger situation. If the per person by bystanders are near, but the machine during the given uh, during the operation, give the warning signal using the air horn. If they fail to respond to the warning, stop by operation immediately. Slow down the wor work cycle. Use the slow travel speeds and congested for populated areas. Halt work if the visibility is poor. Strong rain, flogs, extremely dusty conditions can even affect visibility to your work area. Wait for the wor weather to improve before continue working. All right, safety while parked. When leaving the machine engine running, make certain that the parking brake is applied and electrical interlocking button has been activated. Never stop. Park the machine on an incline unless the machine wheels have been chocked, choked. Uh, um, so, um, safety during the machine following the guidelines are suggested while performing the maintenance. Safety all the allow always check the wheels. All all other areas of the surface of the maintenance is being performed on the machine. But being come um, become familiar with the use in the. Um, your company's lockout, lockout and tagout procedure performing the maintenance on the machine. See the lockout, lockout and tagout requirements later in the safety section. For the chart of the energy source located on the machine. Do, four, do not start the engine repairs work and um, be, being allowed to uh, be performed alone. You always have at least two people working together if the engine must run down during service. One person needs to remain in the command position at the controls. Ready to stop the machine shut off the engine if the need arises. Five. Collect all the oils and fuels disposed of them properly. There is a danger in scalding and while working with the engine oils. Um, six. Use Nordico supplied repair parts of the mar machine. Use the non-OEM designed parts for the compromise of the integrity of the machine. Um, seven. There are welding cautions to the machine. Pay attention to them prior to welding. Kits supplied by the Nordico have welding instructions included with the welding of the components. Not Nordico manufacturer or failure to follow these instructions may affect the stability of the machine. All right, your machine safety alerts and dangers, danger, danger alerts. Um, improper use of the machine for any type of the operation can cause serious injury or death. To avoid serious injury or death, make certain that the area around and under, and all, on, under the machine is clear of all personal obstruction before traveling or working. Series of injuries and death can result from reaching the working of the component while the machine is running, making all observation distant, and shut off the machine while making adjustments. Shut off the engine while che when checking the battery electrolyte level. Do not check the or fill the battery in presence for the open flame sparks or when smoking. Battery fuses are flammable and explosive. If ignited, will result in severely bodily injury or death. Do not ride on the tow bar between the machine towing vehicle following the moving vehicle may cause serious injury or death. Machine safety alert warnings and warning alerts. Failure to engage the lockup devices before propelling at a travel speed can result in injury to personnel, extensive damage to the machine. Remove the hose fittings only when the system is not pressurized. High pressure leaks can cause personal injury. Always turn off the machine before maintenance, making adjustable adjustments whenever an intended movement of the machine could occur. Unless detected otherwise, failure to comply with it uh, could result in personal injury or damage to the machine. Exhaust emissions caused by the use of the engine on the machine may cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm if inhaled. Disconnect the battery before servicing the machine. Failure to do so could result in personal injury for accident engine startup. Notices. Um, notices machine damage only. Before starting a new overhaul, the engine has been storage in the consult of the engine manufacturers. Um, 
Manual for the initial structure, start instruction. Failure to follow this instruction can result in serious engine damage. Never shut off the battery disconnect should, should which the engine running. This, should, this, should, this could um, damage the voltage regulator, alternator, or electrical system. The machine has an electrical control unit. Failure to correctly ins ins isolate it during welding on the equipment it will result in damage not covered under the warranty. See decals on the engine. More engine specific notes for that may cause damage to the engine. All right, your Stone de la Cribber lookout and tag out requirements. Um, the following list suggests the procedure to use all components of the machine that require lockout due to the storage of various forms of the energy it is the company's responsibility to lockout and tag out procedures based on the list. Train you in the proper and safe use to periodically inspect your work area to verify that you're complying with the procedures. Lockout and tag out procedures must be followed. Nordo, Nordico has provided the means of lockout with this machine. Nordico can be held responsible for the injury caused by failure to comply with your company's lockout and tag out. Procedure to see the next um, page for suggested lockout tag out procedure list. All right, lockout tag out procedure. The following procedure is designed to lead the op lead the operator through the steps required to shut off the machine to prepare it for performing mechanical maintenance work. These procedures intend to release potential dangerous sort engineering forms, making the machine safe and beginning with repair. Safety, lo um, safety procedure lockout tag. Apply the pellet on parking brakes with pushing the parking brake put button located on the center of the control console. Note that the release of the air pressure is normally released in the re releases the brake pre um, parking brake really by. Um, by relieving the pressure, the high energy spring applies to all four brakes. Shock wheels to prevent accident rolling from the rolling, uh, rolling on the grade. If you have not already done so, determine which components are to have maintenance in place. All the machine mechanical systems or work heads in full up and lock position. Four, refer to the list in the next page to determine the procedure required for the mechanical locking out of the equipment feasible for the maintenance and then continue to step five and nine. Um, Five. Turn the ignition switch off. Position this turn off the power over the control circuits on the machine. Place the tag card in. Uh, place the tag out card in the close proximity of the ignition switch. Turn off the battery switch disconnection switch or the BDS on the off position. For the machines with the battery disconnect switch on the left side of the center of the front control center, place the tag out card on the switch after you have switched it to the off position. Um, for machines with a remotely located battery disconnect switch. Usually next to the battery box it itself, close the cover, disconnect the switch, place the lockout lock on the box after you have the switch it to the off position. Seven, completely bleed the, down the air system, um, pulling on the air drain cords located with the rear of the machine. Bleed off the hydraulic pressure, follow all the company's lockout and tagged out rules before proceeding. Note, when working on the machine components, be aware of moving components during the repairs may create energy moving a hydraulic center. Proper precautions should be taken. All right, your safety decals on this machine. Safety decals pla um, plaques have been placed on the machine and are to be kept clean and legible. Replacing the decals plaque that have been illegible or missing. Um, when repairing replacement components have been safety decals on them, it is your responsibility to replace the safety decals within the order of the parts of the storage um, department. If a general machine costs and caution warnings, watch your step, danger pitch, pinch points, warning handrails or danger before servicing caution, before welding, lockout area, lockout area, lockout point. Points, um, and then their locations. I some. All right, general. The manual contains operation maintenance information for the Stone Dilla Cribber machine manufactured with Nordico Incorporated with the Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Information regarding the operation maintenance of the machine can be found with the appropriate tabs. Information um, regarding operation of the maintenance of the OEM parts with the Nordico parts can be found at the back of this manual behind the time um, t tab mark component d data. Become familiar with the safety instructions, controls, instruments before operating this machine. Follow all instructions carefully. About this manual, the manual has been broken down into sections which have been separated in index tabs. Mechanical. <coughs> <coughs> Mechanical is individual parts. Break it down. I'm um, drawing the list for each assembly. Hydraulics include adjustment instruction, troubleshooting the hydraulic system, all the piping and functional drawings of the standard machine optional equipment. Pneumatic includes the adjustment instructions, troubleshooting for the air pneumatic systems and their piping function, print drawings, and standard machine op optional equipment. 
Electrical includes electrical schematics, logic box, control box, cable drawings over the machine, troubleshooting um, instructions. Component includes the part, breakdown, service instruction, components installed with the machine but that are not noted core manufacturer. These sections have been expanded upon, us, upon and also broke down in tab sections. Your specifications, model A, gross weight, 46,000 pounds, length 37 feet by 8 inches, width 10 foot by 6 inches, working clearance from the center of the track to the plow extended 8 foot 6 inches, working clearance from the center of the track to the one crib extended 8 foot or 6 foot 10 inches, height 11 foot 6 inches, weight, wheelbase 25 feet, travel speed 23 miles per hour, rated draw, pull, draw, draw bar pull on the rail 1,000 pounds. Capacity fuel tank painted green, 120 gallons. Hydraulic oil tank two at 85 gallons. Oil cooler, 100 gallon, 150 gallons per minute. Um, make, make model Cummins uh, um, engine Cummins type type turbocharged six cylinder continuous um, BH, BHP 190 horsepower at 230 2350 RPMs. Dry weight is 17 quarts. Um, Sorry, no dry weight, pump drive, oil capacity standard oil um, pan, 7.6 quarts, oil capacity suspended oil pan, 20.8 quarts, oil capacity high capacity oil pan, 27.9 quarts, maximum oil temperature, 280 degrees Fahrenheit, cool, coolant capacity, 260 gallons, recommended minimum operating temperature, 160 degrees Fahrenheit, hydraulic system, manifold and pump, make, model, oil gear, PVG, um, Type piston pump, piston 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 settings, relief valve setting, high pressure system pressure 300 psi, compensator 2500 psi, pneumatic compressor 13 cfm's at 120 psi, unloaded valve 100 psi, relief valve 150 psi, tanks two at seven gallons each, air dryer CR brake master 2000 with heater, electrical system electrical system 24 volt DC. Dual 12 volt DC batteries, 1150 cold cranking amps, ground negative, alternative alternator 70 amps, axle driven system, driving temp type, dual axle chain drive, propulsion motor type, hydraulic. Items with the um, four star capacity according to the options of the machine, and the star approximate weight, actual weight, and according to the options of the machine, actual weight on the mirror machine is stenciled. All right, your brakes, your type are pneumatically applied air style, four wheel cobras to style, um, all rights reserved in, in the view of the constant improvements of the equipment specifications that are other technical manual of the subject of the change. No part of this manual may be reproduced in any form of many means without written position, permission. All right, this is your dimensional information. It shows the picture of the cribber. Um, get a good look at that because it might be the only one. All right, unrestricted on all roads except for the certain routes of the road shall be below the specific route one road C. The railway clearance is 10 foot 8, 10 foot 7 foot, um, 14 foot 14, 8 foot 15, 6 foot, 3, and a qu 3 foot 4 inches, 1 foot 3 inches, 9 inches, um, 2 and 3 quarters, 7 foot, 7 foot 4 inches, 8 foot 9 foot, 9 foot 4 inches, 10 foot 8 foot inches. Light cars condition. Conditions may be constructed with the extreme um, with the width of 10 8 of an inch out limit the diagram of the truck center with the max heating for 46 and, th four, four, 46 and 3 inches when the truck is extended from the 46 and 8, 48 and 3 since the swing of the end of the car. Max heating that was um, swinging out of the center of the car for the um, 13 um, inch curve to the car. These dimensions are defined as the base clear car when the truck centers that exceed with the 46 feet for 3 inches. Car with entire clearance outline shall be produced to the compensation with the increased single out center ends of the 13 foot inch curve so that the width of the car shall not project beyond the center of the track more than the base car. Maximum car width for the various truck centers at the center of the car are shown with the plate G1. Maximum car width at the location of the, tr then the center of the car are shown in plate D. Cars with railroad loads excessive of 65,750 pounds per axle cannot be operated with unrestricted interchange. However, they may be permitted under control conditions. A special agreement has been reached between the participating railroads to, to, be, to, so, to so be handled. 
All right, operation general. Do not use the machine with the machine oper um, other than the um, which it was intended. FRA regulations require a copy of this operation manual to be kept in the machine at all times. Additional copy of the operation manual can be ordered by the Nordico Parts System Sales, one eight hundred six forty seven and one seventeen twenty four. Carefully read all the safety man messages in this manual for the details located through the machine. Learn how to operate the machine and how to control it properly. Do not let anyone operate the machine without instruction. Failure to understand the contents of the manual could result in serious personal injury. About this machine, it is always good practice to become familiar with the components of the ma machine you are using. The stone dilla cribber ma ma machine is compromised with four distinct workhead rail clamps, ballast plows, cribbers, and pie pushers. Workhead propulsion operating is done through the series of hydraulic valves located either and remotely on the manifold. There are three multiple control consoles inside the cab. The center console contains all the selectable travel, including the engine, engine pump, and light tra lights, travel direction, cab condition, controls, wires, defoggers, fans, and also include the site sets indicators of the filters and all control gauges. The work head console of the RH panel left side of the panel contains the controls associated with working functions of the machine. The right side of the panel contains all the lock-up controls of the working heads. Left arm console with, the, with a joystick with the controls of the left palace plow. The right arm council, um, control council joystick and hand control joystick controls the right ballast plow and the hand control controls the cribber workhead and the tie pusher. Air condition council optional. This council can be located either on the left of, of the operator behind the above or of the operator's head depending on the type of the AC unit power provided. An overview of the controls of the machine follow the next pages. All right, pre-operation. Table one is the blue. It shows the engine pumping controls. Yellow is your travel commands. Um, pink is your t filter fil filter st um, st status, and four is your cab control con cab condition controls. All right. The symbol, of the hydraulic pump on the top, um, shows um, two position description of the two position switch on and off controls the hydraulic pump. The off position switch must be uh, in the off position before the engine can be started. The hydraulic pump on the on position must be on the on position during working or traveling operations. Engine speed, um, two position low and high control engine speed. The low, low idle note, no, the switch must be in low position before engine can be started. High speed, the sp switch must be in high position during working or travel operations. The ignition, there are three positions which um, position switch. Note that the machine no longer requires the use of a push start. Murphy switch, um, a circle is off, the dash, uh, vertical line turns the electrical system on. And the turnover, turn, turning the full clockwise, then releases, starts the engine, and st releases and starts the engine. You got shutdown override, engine status, see table one um, with more detailed information. All right, um, over here we would have engine status, uh, air pressure gauge, display system, air pressure operation range, 100 to 130 psi normal reading should be. Oil pressure displays the engine oil pressure operating range, 35 to 65 psi normally reading should be. Cooling temperature. Um, Gauge displays the temperature engine coolant operating should be 100 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Normal reading should be tachometer displays the engine RPMs low idle 1000 RPMs high idle 200 2400 RPMs. Hour meter is on the counter displays the accumulated hours of service engine be being in service provides information for the service and work intervals. And your fuel level gauge displays the total available fuel contained in the fuel tank. All right, um, your left and right arrows, this is the faceplate feature, shows the amber LED screen, main, menu key, lock, lock, left arrow, right arrow, ender key, bezel, red shutdown, decorate. Um. All right, left and right arrows to move around one of the set screens in the one up example, the pushing the right arrow will take you up to the coolant temperature screen. If the four up example, pushing the right arrow will take you up to the clockwise direction around the screen. Default position in the left or left hand corner. Once you have gone through the initial screen, pushing the right arrow will take you to the next status of the four state statuses. You can use the left arrow at any time to return to the prior screen. Enter the key. Enter key is used if the fault occurs generally. Any of the faults occur with the coming 
coming on the screen at the time that it happens in order to go back to the original status screen. You have to push the enter key once. Note that they will hide the fault screen until you, one, correct the fault, or two, press it. Press it, enter again. Menu key. The menu key is only used during the factory um, setup procedure. See component data, selection, additional operation setup instructions. All right, the LED out outer bezel out of power view. Um, the LED status are located with the upper left and upper right, li right slides power view, which they are up in screen, will fault with the, will when tell you the fault with the code, the number of the fault, the method to correct the fault. The amber lead, warning lead, single active fault code with light comes up the ab abnormal condition. It is necessary to shut down the immediately by the, the problem. It should be corrected as soon as possible. The light will remain on until the faults are corrected. Note that there may be one of the fault next or on the more appears on the bottom of the screen. You can also hide the fault by hitting enter key. Hitting the enter key again will take you back to the fault. Red shutdown derated de de LED. The faults occur with the requires immediate action. Shutdowns the engine. Do not turn on the switch on the off position. You must go through the codes on the screen. Correct the problems prior to the restarting. The power view remembers the errors. Ignore the activity of the faulty cords warning and or shutdown should in note that ignoring faulty codes, warnings, or shutdowns could result in severe engine damage. More detailed information regarding program setting up can be found a bit in between behind the component data tab of the engine manual of the Murphy and Power View Installation Operation Manual. Our table 1A power view gauge. This indicates the fault that has been in, uh, hidden in an icon tells you in which um, kind of fault. The RPMs and the battery oil pressure. This oil indicates the oil pressure for sending the unit hidden fault. Um, Hidden faults and warning you have are hidden with the enter key with any fault of the condition returned with the original four up or one up screen. The screen will now show the icons up at the right hand corner um, of a one up screen and the middle of the four up screen. See the figure is up should will where faults occurred and up the four shall be alone with the exclamation point appear of the middle of the stat showing the fault of the oil pressure. Remember the screens will show next or more if there are more than one errors has occurred. Scroll the screen until you have found the individual component that has in fault. Highlight the component, pressing enter to the uh, key, the red with the fault, each fault in the current icon defaulting machine, different methods of cure. They are indication auxiliary ga gauge light, indicating fat, faulty warning, indicate de deteriorated shutdown condition. Note that faults can only be cleared when the fault can, has been corrected. Shut machines as soon as possible when you have encountered shutdown fault. Complete list of faults by engine can be found in the mechanical preface. All right, your pre-operation stone dillard table two travel working conditions. This is your left. Left, you have a reverse travel and a forward travel. The two position forward and reverse operator selecting direction of the travel work during the working operation. Reverse travel when it's selected. Rear travel. The front marker lights are energized by the bar backup alarm sudden during the fun um, for forward tra travel. Forward travel when it's selected. The front travel lights. The rear marker lights up and the energize the backup alarm sounds during the reverse travel. On and off uh, travel lights turns the position on and off using the travel direction switch. Um, on and off lights work lights turns the position on and off energizes work lights. All right, your dead brakes and service buttons. Um, service brakes two position switches dead man service the dead man act activity activates brakes controlling at any time the propulsion pedal is released. Um, service requires pedal brake and pedal brake pedal in order to apply brakes. All right, travel back and forth and um, and work down. Two position switch, travel and work. Um, travel reaches the retract the work heads, allow the insert lock up, inflates the air spring, disassemble the hand controls. Work enables the work head ballast plies or tie pushers in the crib. You have your push apply br break and stop is P push and P button. Also your table three filters. Left, left return filter, right return filter, bypass, bypass, pressure filter, bypass, clean, case drain, drain filter, clean, bypass, hydraulic filter, dirt alarm. Table 4, cab condition controls. Um, dome light on and off, cab fan on or off, lower wipers on or off, upper wipers on or off, windshield defogger on or off, two position on and off, energize, de energize cab, demome, fan wipers, and defogger. All right, your RH control council, table five council of the top controls. Um, you have your set weight. Potential controls ready for the height of the crib workhead. Um, welding, welded or jointed. 
Um, they should either use the site um, set the type of the rail, rail being worked on. It, in welded mode, the clamps stay connected to, with the well, web on the rail during the travel. In jointed mode, the clamps pulls, pulls during the travel to clear the rail joint bars. All right, scraper's depth. Potentium um, meter cl um, controls the maximum scrape depth of the crab. Work ahead, work ahead in programming the calculated scra second scrape depth of the cycle based on the position of the pentometer. All right, your lock and unlock switches um, control lock up the various components. The um, components should be kept in lock position at all times when being not you being used. Lock position gate the lock ups. Unlock position disengage the lock ups. Your power outlet uses a provided provided power 12 volt DC. All right, your right hand control console continued. Table six um, console lower. Your cribbing direction left right, left right or crib both. Um, Left position of the crib work head extends out to the right hand side of the machine and pushes the ballast to the left side of the machine. When the crib both in both position, each side of the crib work head will push out the center line of the pet machine out of the each side of the machine. Um, when the right right position of the crib work head extends to the left side of the semi machine, it pushes out the right hand right side of the ballast. Your tie is cribbed. Um, crib counter counts the amount of ties that have been cribbed. This is not resettable. This is an electrical interlock. The button should be pulled out during all normal operation of this press and activated to disable the electrical functions with the hand control at the gripper's functions and the solenoids on the plow, 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 plow valves and locks the brakes. You have an on and off shirt, shirt, um, site for the optional lighting controls on and off switch. Your hand control joystick, left handed joystick, joysticks located on the left handed arm cap seat provides control of the left um, ballast plow. Forward, lower, forward lowers the left ballast plow. Back raises the left ballast plow. Left extends the left plow blade out from the machine. Right re re retracts the left plow blade into the machine. Hand controls right, con right joystick crib work head to hand control. Um, joystick and located with the right hand arm provides the control means for the ballast plow. Forward lowers the right hand right ballast plow. Back re um, raises the right ballast plow. Left uh, re right retracts the right power blade to the out of the end of the machine. Right and extends the right power blade out of the machine. Our right, operation danger when uh, um, impro improper use of the machine for any of the type of the operation can cause serious injury or death. The pre-start with the check the check the engine oil, check the engine coolant level, check the hydraulic and oil level, inspect the electrical connection and tighten it. Start up the check. Start up the uh, engine speed with the switch with the high position. Pl um, place the hydraulic pump on the switch on position. Check the hydraulic oil filter indicator. Check the air cleaner indicator. Inspect the hose and the fittings for leaks. Check the height setting and the proximity switch is starting the engine. Place the battery disconnect switch on the on position. Pl um, place the hydraulic switch on the off position. But note that the pump must be in the off position to start the engine. Place the engine speed in the low position. Note that the speed must switch must be in the low position to start the engine. Turn the ignition switch to the first dent. dent then it and power will come in, but the engine is not start, started. Wait, wait until the power view will come on and wait to start. The preheat and message will appear on the screen. When the message disappears, the light goes out. It's safe to start the engine. Once the engine has started, you will see the first menu, the status of the screen. Power view, left and right arrow, and we keep the um, get keys to get the one screen to another. All right. Note that more detailed information regarding the program setup with the faulty codes are found in the, on the component data engine of the engine other, other than Murphy um, Power View. Seven. Check the following area: normal operating pressures, air pressure 100 to 130 psi, oil pressure 35 to 65 psi, volts 23 to 26 volt DC, engine RPMs at 100, 1,000 UP RPMs. Um, travel, track, tra tra track travel. Placing the hydraulic pump switch on position, place the engine speed switch in the high position. Select the placement of the brake switch in the engine, either dead man brakes or service brake position 11. Select the type of the rail while you are working on the welder joint, pressing the switch on the right and the control console place to certain. All work head lock, lock ups are in the locked position, right hand console place the travel light switch on the on position. The front of the travel lights, rear marker lights will automatically be selected with the travel switch of the forward travel position. Release the parking brakes is set with place the travel work, work switch with the travel position retracts the hydraulic cylinder for the rear rail lifted work head in place the air spring and disable the hand control. Place the travel switch of the forward reverse travel in position. Depress the foot from the travel foot um, pedal. 
Break, break operation in the break mode, operation switch set for the break, and then to either the dead man break set with the service break setting. When the switch is placed on the dead man breaks, the brakes are automatically engaged in time forward when the reverse pedal is not pressed down. Alright, if the brake mod, 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 mode selection switch is in service brake position, it, it, the use of the brake pedal is necessary to stop the machine parking the brake operation parking knob to control the brakes and release the emergency air pressure in the air brake chamber, which with all the air pressure the brakes lock. Emergency um, stop. The emergency stop shut off the engine and electrical power. Alright, operation. <laughs> 